one of the most celebrated and popular legends from the ancient Latin novel The Golden Ass by the 2nd century AD Roman writer Apuleius is the story of Cupid and Psyche. It has proved particularly inspiring to visual artists such as sculptors and painters, and this film is about a painting depicting one episode from the story. Psyche was a beautiful woman, one of three daughters of a king and queen. She was so beautiful that the goddess Venus, filled with jealousy, sent her son, Cupid, to make Psyche fall in love with some lowly and hideous creature. But Cupid fell in love with Psyche himself, and installed her in his palace, where she lived in luxury, and where he visited her each night under cover of darkness, making love to her and then leaving at dawn, so that she never saw her mysterious lover. Goaded by her jealous sisters and by her own curiosity, and fearful that her lover concealed his identity in darkness because he was, in fact, a monster, Psyche crept in upon Cupid as he slept, bringing a lamp, in order to see what kind of creature he was. When she saw him, she was overcome by love for him, but hot oil from her lamp dripped on the sleeping god and woke him. He angrily abandoned her, ignoring her pleading, and Psyche was left alone in the wilderness beside a river. She then began her quest to reunite with her lover, undergoing various trials inflicted on her by the still jealous Venus, before eventually being granted divinity by the gods so that she could be united with Cupid and be happy ever after. This picture shows the instant of abandonment as Cupid breaks away from Psyche, ignoring her pleas, and leaves her alone. It was painted around 1699 by the French neoclassical artist Nicolas Colombel, who was born in 1644 and died in 1717. Its title is Psyche Abandonné par l'Amour, Psyche Abandoned by Cupid. Colombel was a pupil of the painter Pierre de Sèvres and spent his early career in Rome, arriving in the late 1670s and returning to Paris sometime in the early 1690s. He was almost exclusively a painter of large-scale easel paintings on historical, mythological and religious themes. He was seen by both contemporaries and subsequent art historians as a conservative artist, looking back to the styles of the 1630s in his works and adhering firmly to classicism and high-genre works when fashions were changing towards Rococo elegance and informality. The main influences on Colombel were the Italian Renaissance and Baroque painters whose work he had got to know in Rome and the French artists Nicolas Poussin and Pierre Mignard. The influence of both artists can be seen in this work with its carefully balanced and structured landscape setting in the style of restrained classicism associated with Poussin, but also with a sense of emotional expressiveness which echoes the approach of Mignard. The cool palette and clear colours are again a mark of Poussin's influence, but a richer sense of colour can be seen in the landscape, revealing Colombel's awareness of new trends towards more vibrant colour in contemporary French painting. The painting tells its story with clarity and is faithful to its source in Apuleius's text. In the pale light of dawn, Psyche has run from Cupid's palace, which, with its arcades, pleasure pavilions and gardens, can be seen on the hilltop behind her. She is pleading with her lover to stay with her, but he disregards her pleas and flies away, springing into the air and eluding her outstretched arm and grasping hand, leaving her alone on the bank of the river. The pale light of early morning is conveyed in the cool colour palette Columbell has used in the sky and the distant hills and mountains of the open view to the right. Shadows of night still linger beneath the trees and along the shaded riverbank. Apuleius gives a description of the god Pan sitting on the edge of the river with a flock of goats, teaching the mountain nymph Echo to play tunes on a reed, and Columbell has depicted him faithfully, distracted from his dalliance with Echo by the sudden arrival near him of the desperate and lovelorn Psyche. He points towards her with raised arm, his pointing hand exactly on the vertical centerline of the canvas. 
the figure of Psyche is firmly modelled and rather static, as is usual with Columbell's figures. But her dramatic gesture and the emotion displayed on her face attract the viewer's attention. Above her, Cupid vaults away into the sky. His figure, too, is solidly depicted, with a little sense of movement conveyed by his limbs and draperies. His face, rather than being youthful and beautiful, is rather fleshy, and he looks, if anything, middle-aged. Fortunately, the merits of the painting counterbalance that problem. The harmonious composition, atmospheric light, and attractive colouring, the emotion in the figure of Psyche, and the narrative clarity of the scene, all make for a pleasing and interesting whole. This is not a great painting, or an important one, but it is worth spending a little time looking at it, and that is what we have done. If you have watched to the end, thank you, and if you enjoyed it, please press the like button, or maybe even subscribe. It does help the channel.